Okay, we have uh, now written a prime number algorithm. We have also written a random number algorithm here. So, now uh, what I want to do, I want to write random prime numbers to the screen. Because I feel like writing random prime numbers to the screen here. So, I have a... I want to use these two functions together to write random numbers to the screen here. Okay. Well, I just want to write. <clears throat> now, I only want to uh, write a hundred prime numbers that are random here. So, first thing I want to do, I'm going to make a for loop. So, for INTI. Now, I don't know the conditions yet here. I'm just going to think about this here. So, now let's say while, um, let's say i is equal to 0. Now I want i to be less than 100 here. Now, I don't want to increment i here. But what we'll, uh, here, I'll just uh, show you the whole code here so you can, so you can uh, see what's going on yourself. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to say, all right, I want to make another variable. Let's call it r. Now let's say r is going to equal um, random of, let's say, I want to print off ra random numbers from Let's say we go from two, or let's say we go from, um, let's say we go from just from one to one hundred here. Now we've already seen what this random function does here. <clears throat> it's going to re um, return any value that could be one through one hundred here. So these are these are included here. It could also return a one, and it can also return a hundred here, because that's what I wanted this algorithm to do. So I made one. That does that. So right here, so right now we're going to have this variable r in here is going to equal a random number from 1 to 100 here. And then what I want to do, I want to say, I want to check to see if, let's call it prime here, if prime r, <clears throat> so basically if prime is equal to true here, and this is a balloon itself here, so it's going to Give it, a give it a value here. I'm going to output um, r to the screen. And then I'm going to say i++. <clears throat> so if it's not prime here, nothing happens. Then i does not get incremented here. So l let's look at this for loop here. So i will only increment if and only if this piece here is true. It, uh, this will be almost, this will be, I will not increment, and nothing will change throughout this loop to this loop here. So we're going to be checking to see if it's prime here. Now let's, let's try this here. Okay. So these are just random, these are a hundred random numbers here. And they all happen to be prime numbers that are between one and a hundred here. I can also change this range from 200 here. All the prime numbers that are between 1 and 200. So we can kind of make these work together here. So I'm going to copy this code here and I'm going to paste it later because I want to show you something else here. Now um, <clears throat> the challenge will be for you to write non-repeating random num numbers here and then um, I want you to write there first I want you to write the non-repeating random numbers and then um, you can um, write them shuffled so let me just show you what I mean so let's say we have the first 100 prime numbers here actually I'm going to paste that code and I'm just going to change it a little bit here so what I do I just want to write down the first 100 prime numbers here 
So let me just delete this piece here, and that's pretty much it. So if, um, actually, yeah, if prime of i here, I want to see if i is prime. And I just want to see if r is prime here. We'll set r equal to, equal to 1. Then I'll say uh, r++. plus plus. Because I want r to increment every time, and I only want i to increment only the times it's prime. So then I'm going to output um, i. And then we're going to output the r. Now let's see what happens here. So we have a hundred prime numbers here. Now what's going on here? Why is this at zero? Oh yeah, I want i to equal one here. Okay, now let's look at this here. We have the first 99 prime numbers actually. But right here, the first prime number is 2, the second one's 3, the third one's 5, and we have all of them in order here. So, so you can try to come up with an algorithm here to write the first 100 prime numbers in a random order without repeating here. Does that make sense? So if we just look at the first 5 prime numbers here, 2, 3, 5, 7, and 11 here, I want you to be able to write a code that will write those five random numbers in a random order without repeating here. So now um, I'm going to post the the uh, solution here as an, um, as an add-on to this video here. So you don't have to watch it, you don't have to do it here, but it is just extra practice for you to try and figure out functions here. So your only hint that I'm giving you is that um, we already figured out how to write non-repeating random numbers here. So that code might come in handy, and you might, you know, you, you might want to use it as a function. You may not want to use it as a function. So I'll show you my solution in the add-on to this video here. But it's optional. You can just go on to the next one if you if you understand what's going on here. But it's just this is just practice here. So so that's the uh, that's the trick here, and. Then, also in the add-on here, I'll just keep on showing you hints here, and I'll show you the final solution at the end of that video here. So if you just, if you want immediate satisfaction here, you can just skip to the end of the video. So that's going to wrap this up, and uh, we'll still be talking about functions in the next tutorial.